Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to identify which apps on your Mac can run natively on Apple Silicon. So I have a Mac Mini here with an M1 processor. And if you're new to this, Macs used to use Intel processors. Now they're converting over to their own M1 processor. Applications can be made to run natively on the M1 processor, and that gives you the best performance. Or they can be made to run on Intel, and they can be run on the Apple Silicon Macs using Rosetta 2, which is some translation software. So a person might be interested in which apps are optimized for their processor and which ones are not. So to find that out, you want to go to your Apple menu and go to About This Mac, then go to System Report, and then on the left here, go to where it says Software, and then Applications, and select that. And this will give you a list of the applications on your system. So we have a number of columns here. You want to go to the Kind column and click on that to sort it. So we can see here that I have one application that says kind is 32-bit unsupported. So this application would be considered Intel 32-bit. And these actually lost support on Intel also. So this wouldn't run on an Intel or Mac running the latest system. So I'll find this application real quick. I have my applications down here in my dock. So if I try and run this application, it will give us an error message saying it needs to be updated. So I can really delete that one. I'll probably do that later actually. Next over here under Kind, we have Apple Silicon. So there's only one app on this computer that is compiled only for Apple Silicon. All of the other apps are either for Intel or they're called Universal. And Universal means that they can run on Intel or the Apple Silicon processors. So this one is the Rosetta 2 Updater. And then next we have the Intel apps. And these are apps that are made to run on Intel processors, but they can run on these new M1 Macs using Rosetta 2. So I'll scroll through these quick. I'll go down here. So this is the last of the Intel here, and then after that we have Python Launcher, and it says kind here is iOS. So this also tells us which apps are made to run on iPhone and iPad, because the M1 Mac can run iPad and iPhone apps, and those would run natively too. Next we have a bunch of others, and I'm not sure exactly what those are. Some of these might be scripts, I think, but there's a handful of those. And then next we have Universal. So these are things that are running on your Mac natively, and these will run on any of the Macs natively. It'll run on the Intel or the M1 processor. So a question someone might have is what can you use this information for? So I'll scroll all the way up here, and we can look through the Intel software, and you can look down and see which of these applications you use often. So I'll scroll down here. So here we have Firefox. So say I use Firefox daily, that probably means I should be more diligent about watching for an update to Firefox that supports the Apple Silicon processors. Now say there's software I don't use very often, let's say GoPro Quick. So say I don't use this software very often, that would probably not be a big priority for me to upgrade to Apple Silicon. And so I probably don't need to monitor for that to be available. So there is another way you can identify applications, is you can go into your applications folder, and you can right click on them and say get info. And you can see it says Kind Application Universal. So that can be handy if you do have one application you want to know if it's universal or not. But if you want to check your whole system, going to the system report is the way to do it. So the advantage of upgrading to a universal application is that it would likely be faster and it could be more efficient too. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. I'll put a link below to my Mac playlist where you can find my other Mac related videos. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.